Namaste, how are you guys? So today's video is kind of different and something which was so requested. Uh, if you don't know already, by now you know that I have premature grey hair and I have had this since standard 6 and I saw my first grey hair and I knew uh, that you know my life won't be that easy. Uh, by the time I reached 10th, I had a lot of grey hair like it was like 10 to 12 strands of grey hair and it was right on the top so it was very much visible to other people and I used to be so insecure about that. I used to always worry about people making fun of me because of that. And that used to just make me so nervous. After I was done with my SSC 10th, I started applying henna on my hair. I used to apply it every two months till I was... Um, in the 12th grade that is HSC I already have dry hair and henna used to make my hair even more dry and at that time I also started a lot of home remedies and everything I even took Ayurveda medicines and even that didn't work for me once I entered my degree college state one friend of mine told me to visit Richfield and a lot of other relatives and everyone started telling me visit Richfield they are really good at what they do and all so I decided to visit Richfield this is no way sponsored and they actually helped me overcome my premature grey hair. I took the treatment from Richfield for three years. In the first three months I didn't notice any change but I had stopped completely stopped applying henna and then within six months my white hair started to turn brownish so I was confused if it was because of henna because I had completely stopped applying henna but it wasn't because of henna uh, it was actually reversing the whole process so my white hair started to turn black so it turns into brown and then black also the new hair that was coming out were black in color so that is how I knew that treatment is actually working within a year I was so sure about it and I still continued the treatment for two more years and I just thought it will be long lasting if I you know do the treatment for a longer period of time but since past one year I can see the grey hair coming back so that's why I am back on that treatment and I think um, I won't be able to completely reverse the whole thing but at least I can try and manage it so that I don't have to color my hair and yes it was expensive for me at that point but I don't regret paying whatever I paid for so in this video I'll be just sharing some of the tips that I've learned over the years and also some way that I prevent and manage my grey hair also if you're new to my channel and if you like what you see so far then please make sure you hit that subscribe button and join my youtube family Dwani Khan's fam is the best and now without further ado we should just get started with this video so my first step will be to know the cause why you are having this premature grey hair there are a lot of things which can cause premature grey hair like bad diet a lack of nutrients, stress, using a lot of hair colors and hereditary. For me, it was hereditary. So if it's stress, you can do something to de-stress. If it's lack of nutrients, you can, you know, improve your diet. So just know your cause first. Mm -hmm. Second tip is to eat right. Now doctor suggested me to eat a lot of things including dates and figs in the morning. Then I used to have paneer at least once in a week. Because I'm a vegetarian that is the best source of protein. I used to also have chole chana that is chickpeas at least once in a week. And also I used to eat one tomato daily. Raw tomato. Just like that. Uh, so that was my diet when I was actually undergoing the treatment. Third tip is to not pluck your white hair. I know a lot of people say that this is friction it doesn't really matter if you pluck it or not but I have noticed this myself and trust me when I say this so my mom once accidentally pulled out one grey hair from here within like three four weeks I could actually see two new grey hairs on the same part so yeah I don't pluck my grey hair that will be the last thing I'll do fourth tip is to drink a lot of water at least two liters every day and also I used to drink in copper vessels lack of copper also leads to premature grey hair it's been more than five years i'm having water in only copper vessel if you want you can even get like a copper bottle store water in that and just have that water my fifth tip is to use a mild shampoo i used to use rich fill shampoo when i was undergoing the treatment but now i don't anymore make sure you wash your hair at least twice a week doctor suggested me to wash thrice a week but i used to just you know wash it every four days and i still wash it every four days sixth tip is to avoid hair gels and hair cream it has a lot of chemicals and you don't want to put that on your hair so just 
avoid it completely my seventh tip is to oil your hair every week there are a lot of uh, good oils available out in the market now so i'll just link some of them in the description box below that i use personally now coconut oil and bringha bringha i don't know how to pronounce that i'm so sorry i'll just write it down here so those two oils are really good for premature gray hair so i use them my last and final tip is something that has majorly turned the whole situation uh, i use vitamins which are called l tyrosin from richfield and it's available in richfield and also on amazon but i don't trust the amazon thing i get it from richfield directly since i was their client once upon a time and uh, i don't pay for their counseling or anything anymore now i have those vitamins every alternate day there's no like a proper schedule that i follow and yeah i still have like 10 strands of gray hair and it doesn't bother me anymore because this is the way I am and I have accepted myself I don't color my hair or I don't apply henna on my hair anymore I still eat vitamins and honestly I don't mind eating them for all my life instead of coloring my hair every uh, three months uh, I prefer eating vitamins every alternate day right so if you're someone who just has like few gray strands here and there just follow a proper diet and see if you can see any change if not then go and see a doctor i know i'm not a doctor but this has worked for me so i thought i'll just share some tips with you guys so if you are in the initial process you can actually reverse it so i hope you guys found this video helpful i'll post more links in the description box below if you want any further information feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer your questions and yeah that's it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video now bye